Shut up and sit down. Hello guys, this is uh, DJ Dwarf, and as you can see, this is another online battle for the tournament that Rex is uh, organised. This is uh, Battle 2, and it is against Hef. So this is Hef's army here. Got uh, a bunch of long beards of shields, two design breakers, hammerer, rune, uh, smith, a lord, uh, organ gun, and a grudge thrower and a bunch of riflemen, the thunderers. So yeah, I've got uh, two cannons, a bunch of thunderers, uh, long beards of great weapons, one unit of miners with blaster charges, and three units of hammerers and a lord. So his warden guns air firing at my one unit. And I was trying to get my cannons to f take out his organ guns, but they were missing because the way the hill was. So I'm rushing forward with my uh, ranged, whilst keeping out of range of his thunderers. So as you can see here, the first unit gets in range with the old guns and starts to unleash it. And now I'm doing some shuffling around in the background with the other rifle uh, thunderer units. Always got one rifle. This battle sort of reminded me of like Empire Total War, sort of, not quite. But yeah, this is definitely one of the better uh, Dwarf on Dwarf matches I've played. So yeah, he's shifting all his army to my right. So I'm like, okay, I'm going to shift around to his left, and we're basically going to do almost, let's not a full circle, like a half circle. Um, I noticed my guy's got into rifle range there, so I'm pulling it back. Don't want to give him three shots on my uh, melee infantry. So, they're hightailing it out there. Now, I purposely put my cannons right on the edge, because I know the dwarfs don't have any fast units, except for gyrocopters, but who would take those? And here, because he doesn't want to basically explode his flank to my, me, my army, He's kind of exposed his flank to my cannons. Now he's got a unit charging down to sort him out. But the damage done by the cannons uh, is already too late, especially to side on like this. Yeah, uh, there you go, look. You can see all the men flying off. So I was like, okay, the cannons are going to be lost here. Just keep on, keep on firing. Oh, look at that one. Yeah, so I moved my thunderers, and you can see in the background just there, they started firing. So, yeah, this is where he ties down my artillery. They do occasionally fire off right there. So, yeah, on this flank, uh, I got his organ gun team to flee from just the sheer amount of shots going into him. Now, I noticed he's shifting sideways. Again, so I pulled all my riflemen sideways. Still trying to get my cannons to fire <laughs> at the uh, uh, thunder unit at the end there. Boom, missed. Oh, you're on. Oh, yeah. oh, look at that, boom. He still got his grudge thrower firing, which was a problem. But yeah, as you can see now, I've started peeling uh, my guys to his right flank, so it would be my left flank. I'm peeling guys around to his right. And now I push forward with my uh, thunderers, because I have basically firepower and superiority right now. Pops the uh, rune of negation, which is actually quite good. 44% damage resistance, baller. But it's still not enough for the amount of firepower I've got coming down on these, these poor board dwarfs. So 
yeah, now I'm moving my guys to my right flank, which would be his left flank. And you can see that I'm move, moving my uh, infantry about. So now he's starting to mobilise his infantry. Which is a good call on it, because I'm going to win the shooting war battle here. So. Uh, when I was playing this, because I am post commentating, I didn't realise he had iron breakers. <laughs> so I charged these two units forward, thinking they're just shielded longbeards. Which makes it even more hilarious when half these guys go flying. <laughs> So yeah, they uh, start running off, but I managed to catch up with them. Pinned down his uh, grudge thrower, you can see here that his rifle units are starting to flee because I've just got superior RA. Um, he tied down my miners, so I bring in some hammerers to eventually pull those uh, miners out bring these long beards back from the flank. There you go, there's the order. Because he's fucking up my uh, one long beard unit in there. Because that long beard unit's fighting three shielded long beards, a lord and a runesmith, so I was like fuck. So uh, yeah, I got that rifle unit over there firing over it into the front of these units. Just back up uh, those guys with melee. Now here I've spotted an opportunity. I've tied down most of his units. He's preoccupied with my units around here. So I'm moving my rifle units. Uh, my thunderers. I need to stop calling the rifles because I know exactly what they are. I've played them on tabletop. Anyway, I moved them uh, to basically get flanking shots in the rear and in the side so they can't use their shields. And this, uh, this one here is very important. These two here are going into the the massive amount. Like this, this is devastating. Boom, 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 boom. See the health bar of the unit drop. So yeah, in the background you can see that I've told my miners to move out with that combat because I noticed they have blaster charges left. So that unit in the background is still pink. This is uh, coming close to the end of the battle. I think. The car unit causes when you're doing armor shields. And yeah, there. That's the uh, end of the battle. And the reason it was cut short is because Hef uh, basically had people over and he had to, he had to quit early. But. As you can see by the uh, like stats at the end of the game, there was, there was I wasn't going to lose. Uh, I wasn't going to lose that. But to be fair to him, that was challenging. Uh, and I reckon if there wasn't people over his his house, uh, he probably would have put up a better game. But hey -oh. so yeah, that's the. Uh, Round 1, Battle 2 of Lord Rex's tournament. I will see you in the next one, hopefully.